Okay. Now I've completed this uh, this final quest for the day. I should have an event coming up soon. Um, does it happen the moment I leave the building? Yes. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you're all <laughs> out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. Uh oh. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. Uh. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Wanna head out and pick him up for us in person? Of course, Serene has to do it. Well, he is the only one with a motorcycle right now. Uh, Crow, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing <clears throat> touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Guess oh. we really are taking a bike. You're right. It'd probably be <clears> faster <throat> to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I could put more work into the festival. Is that true? Can you actually go, go faster uh, 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 on a bike than on a train? Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'll be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. And who are my choices to bring with me? Cheers! Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. Okay, they recommend saving my game at this part because I actually have to choose someone. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Reen, I heard everything from Crow. I just finished up the maintenance on the sidecar, too, so you're welcome to use it whenever you'd like. Thanks, I'll do that. Yeah, Angie left it to you, so think of it as your bike now. You can take it out for a spin whenever you feel the need for speed. Thanks, George. So yeah, sometimes you'll see an error show up here. Right, so then what do I do? Alright. Right outside should be it. I think this is my real last chance to save before making the choice. Here's Jellica's bike. I've done- I think I've done all I can for now. Got all the quests, got the recipe, got the Vermilion Master Course, got Orochi. Wait, yeah, wait, do I have Orochi? Ugh. So many things to keep track of in this game. Yes, I do. Grammarly increases damage. Okay, and I traded all the all the accessories to collect. I got the metal. I got uh, yeah. Right, um, I have enough coarse rock salts. Okay, I'm good. Let's. All right, according to the guide, if I choose to go alone for this choice, then. I can get Crow to come with me, so I'm gonna try that. Okay, looks like everything's in working order. Hmm. Crow did say I should <clears throat> take someone else along to give me a hand. That is sure kind of misleading. Is, Let's see. Who should I try asking first? A lot of people would just automatically assume Crow is a no-show for this event, so go alone. Yeah, everyone's probably got their hands full right now. Wouldn't want them to go out of their way on my account. There will be a lot to carry, but 
I've got the sidecar, so I think I'll be all right. So will Crow really join? That's what the guide says. Whoa, he really did show up. I guess he caught me just as I was going at Tell it me, alone. Reed, exactly what part of invite someone don't you understand? It really isn't that hard. And what would you have done if I wasn't free? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm sure Reen could just put all the clothes right into the sidecar easily. I do appreciate you coming along, though. <sighs> well, I gotta see how my babies came out. Besides, I'm sure Jellica would be thrilled to see me riding her bike. So, I guess I can let you off the hook this time. He's like the secret care. It's like the secret, uh, uh, secret waifu, uh, uh, waifu or something. Yes. Crow, are you sure it was okay for you to come with me like this? It sounds like you had about a million people asking for your help. Yeah, I think I already did his event for Chapter 6. Uh, I, I, I really wish they'd have a little list of all the bonding events you did so you know who you're on track for. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'm not that heavily involved with any of them. And I can finish up my bits just fine. Yeah, I guess it was kind of a bad idea for me to try to do everyone's bonding events in the in the recordings. Now I can't even remember who I did or not. This festival is all about the first years anyway. I know when to stand back and give the other folks their moment to shine. That's surprisingly believable. And here I thought the instructors had caught wind of your gambling plans and you were trying to escape or something. <coughs> Cough. Wait, seriously? Eyes on the road, Reen. Eyes on the road. Really back here, huh? Whenever I could, I could buy stuff at the last minute. You know those those super rare accessories. Well. Even if I could, I don't have any money on me right now. I am dirt poor after buying all those weapons. I still haven't even saved up enough for that Master Quartz yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to get it anyways. Even if I can't, well, I think I can live without it. Boutique, Lay Sage. Where if I get to use these costumes come all this way to pick in these battle? Hmm. Probably, uh, probably not. They wouldn't let me ruin it before the big day. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! <laughs> thanks. Guess I owe you again this year. <laughs> After how hard you worked me last year, I was more than ready for this. But even so, your concert made it all worth it. Let's hope these kids can do something that measures up. Oh yeah, one more thing. I made one of these outfits for you, too. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Uh, Crow, didn't you just give me a speech about how you were going to stay behind the scenes and let us shine? Well, sure. I just figured that if I had a uniform, we'd feel like one big team. Yeah, that's a good enough excuse for now. <laughs> for now. Uh. Bird. Isn't that the bird that was in the opening? My suspicious. What the? <clears throat> hey, uh, hate to snap you out of whatever this is, but we've got somewhere to be. If we don't get going, it'll be night by the time we're back at the dorms. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm back. I just got distracted by a strange bird on that lamppost, that's all. Strange, huh? Yeah, I've never seen a bird that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Huh, that does sound kind of strange. I wonder why it's hanging around in the city, though. Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? Misty. The... I mean, Misty. Oh? <clears throat> it's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. 
<laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. Sure are. Since when? <sighs> Ignore him. We're here on business, actually. Reen told Missy about coming to collect her outfits. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. But you're already working two jobs. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. <clears throat> of course, I always do. <clears throat> that was the Vita Clotilde, right? The opera singer? Whoa, you've got some friends in high places, Reen. So, do you just call her Misty to keep a low profile for your dates, or what? For one thing, we're not dating. And more importantly... We explain the Vita Misty situation. Wow, really? She seems so laid back. She must be pretty amazing to handle two jobs at once. <laughs> yeah, she's something all right. Wait a sec. <clears throat> Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Aben time on Sundays. Oh yeah? Hmm, maybe she's on some other show this week. Who knows? Yeah, it does seem suspicious she'd already be in her Misty outfit. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We should head back to Tristan. Maybe it helps, uh, uh, since Vita is probably more famous, maybe it's better if she goes... Uh, 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 she walks around as Misty in public. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. <laughs> Definitely. We've got to get everyone into those outfits. The ladies especially. <coughs> Then all that'll be left is surviving Commander Elliot's boot camp from hell. Uh, gotta be careful while pressing the screenshot button. Maybe I should find a different key for it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Problem Hopefully. is, I I never know what keys that the uh, that the game itself already reserved, so it becomes kind of difficult for me to actually assign a key to screenshots or or just recording. Bond of Crow strengthened. Oh! Look at that! I, if I fought enough battles with him in the final dungeon, maybe I could get him to level 5. Maybe I should do, do that the next chance I get. Wait a Oh, the, they're putting the luggage in there after all. Oh man, imagine if Dorothy saw this. She immediately write a fanfic on it, right? No. Uh, gonna take a few screenshots here and there. Maybe I should go change some of the. A keyboard settings later so that the enter key doesn't automatically scroll through text. Wow, these are actually really nice. Huh. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Somehow I think that if Crow had uh, gone to his original design, the white part of the costumes wouldn't be there. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? Wow! That makes your boobies look even bigger! 
wow. You look stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect. And letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow, you all look even better than I was hoping. And this is what the boys look like. Wait, doesn't she well, crow out of his own well, uniform? You all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. Ouch. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? A noble? Uh, another noble? Besides, I hope you haven't <clears throat> forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits. Together. Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. All right, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. Yeah, you know, Elliot pretty much went to drill sergeant mode when it came to the rehearsal, according to the drama CD. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to <clears throat> bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Oh, It's not like I want to wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again. So come on, Emma. Just grin and bear it. Whoa, that part was not it put into text. Oh, no. I think we broke Emma. Maybe we ought to leave her She's become for a while. dark Emma. She's gonna be the final boss for sure. And we'll have to stand up against her and her magic, her unusual magic. Okay. Continue. Because that really wasn't too long. I can probably squeeze in a little bit more here. First thing we did, I think next morning we got together to rehearse our performance again. They're not practicing in their costumes? When are we going to get Sarah to participate? Probably not because she's a teacher. Meanwhile, preparations for the festival continued steadily under Student Council President Toa's watchful eye.
Yeah, sadly, I have not met the threshold for anyone else, sort of. <laughs> for this. If I wanted to get other people's endings, I definitely have to do a second playthrough, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I'll just probably- I'll just look these up on YouTube or something. Yeah. The Operetta. That was perfection itself. Indeed, victory is as good as ours. I hope they don't make us do a- I wonder if they make us do a Ribba mini game for the a concert. That would be pretty crazy. And then, if you fail, you fail to get back BP. Yes. I mean, AP. That's right, we're not bracers here, even if we do kind of act like them in terms of <laughs> uh, our workflow. Meanwhile, arrivals in the art classes put the finishing touches on their own contributions to the festival. However... Oh, it looks like this year's festival will be even more lively than last year's. An old wind blows from the east, an ominous cloud still hang over a fair country. But young people have their whole future ahead of them. They ought to pursue their dreams with excitement, with passion. Just as they always have, and, and as they likely always will. <laughs> I certainly agree, it's good to be young. I was once full of vim and vigor. So are you, Prince, Prince Oliver. Well, he never really lost his spark. Even his highness and that fool Osborne were boys once. Indeed. I'm back for my patrol. Thank you, Sarah. Looks like everything will be finished by the end of the day. Instructor Beatrix, my apologies. I had no idea you were here. So you really don't need all the formality, or the salute for that matter. <laughs> you accomplished more than enough since we first met to stand proudly on equal footing with me. But you saved my life. Kinda of hard to trump that. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to join the guild either. I mean, it's hard to believe it's been ten years since then. My, how time flies. And you're quite the popular figure on campus. Were you also Nightheart's superior at one point? Well, to apologies to Heinrich, perhaps I ought to put you forth as my replacement when I retire. I'm all for that. Yes, I couldn't possibly. Still, concerning the direction this country seems to be headed, I'm worried about what will become of this academy in the next year. So am I. Have you heard anything from Major Nightheart, sir? Not thus far, unfortunately. He did say his intent to return in time for the festival, however. I see. I've been hearing some concerning reports from the Guild and Crossbell recently. I don't doubt it. We're likely on the cusp of a significant change. Whatever that change may turn out to be. But in spite of what the future may hold, our duty remains the same as it's always been. Yeah. Well said, Instructor Beatrix. I ask of you, Ideos and Dracos the Lionheart. Grant these young people your protection and your courage. And guide them as they enjoy this festival, that no harm may come to them. At the time, we were so caught up in the festival preparations that we had no way of knowing that behind the scenes, countless adults were looking out for us, helping ensure that we'd get to enjoy the fruit of our hard labor. Um... Yeah! We did it! That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. We'll just have to make some luck courts. <laughs> nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Maybe we should just cast Shining on ourselves so that we make fewer mistakes. Thanks for all your help, Crawl. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow, 
I thought it was evening already. <laughs> Me too. Well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I thought they stayed. Uh, I thought they stayed up up all night, and that's almost always like early morning. Ho fortunately, that's not the case. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh no 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 no! No time for that now. Uh oh. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole: an unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. Uh oh. I, I don't. What's what? that look in his eyes? Surprises? An encore? What? Please tell me you're just kidding. You are, right? Wait, we're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. What was he now, talking about? Hold on just a minute. <clears throat> you aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. We're about the stars? Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep, so how about we- And what's right the sound effects? Uh, you're a slave driver. Maybe we should give Emma some uh, uh, some uh, a stamina steak. Oh, you killed her! Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow is more fired up about this than anyone else, even me. He's taking us on a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in. Same day, 9 p.m. Still hard at work, I see. Oh, hey, George. Sounds like you managed to finish all the difficult stuff, huh? Yup, it wasn't easy, though. I think it'll be worth it in the end. This year's festival is shaping up to be even more fun than last year's. Really? See. You're worried about Angie, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure she'll come through for us. But with what's happening in Crosswell right now, and all the terrorist attacks in the last couple months, it sounds like this country's got some tough times ahead of it. I started to think she might not make it. Always a possibility, I guess. You know what? Even knowing that, I don't feel worried. You know how much fun we're going to have the, these next two days. I just can't imagine Angie missing a good party. Yeah, you're right. You really do. Really do what? Nah, never mind. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like Class Seven's still at it. I wonder if they're still practicing. Hmm, I don't know. I looked in on them this afternoon and it seemed they were basically done <coughs> for the day. Still, they've got Crow as their producer. So, you know, there's always that little bit of worry in the back of my mind. Now that you mention it, Whoopsie, looks like we're a little late. Reen! What happened to you guys? You look exhausted! <clears throat> I can't believe we made it through alive. That was like torture. I'm so tired, I'm gonna call Lammy. Don't you dare. Celine, Grandmother. Emma, you can't just sleep out here. At least summon up the energy to get back to your bedroom first. <laughs> um, are, they, are you all okay? All finished with the concert rehearsal then? Heh, <laughs> just about. <clears throat> we were cutting it pretty close though. Now that all is left is to see how it all goes over in front of an audience. I'm sure we'll be fine. A wind of blessing will blow on us. Still, you all look like you rehearsed till you dropped. Literally. Hey, you all should feel proud. I've seen how hard you've worked. That's great to hear. I can't wait to see you guys play live. I've got a feeling you're set to impress. Oh.
Wow. Looks like they've got all the decorations put up now. And you can really feel the excitement in the air. Looks like it's going to be even livelier than last year. That's fine by me. George and Toa, thank you both so much for all the work you put into helping the festival go forward. Same to you, man. You guys have been pedal to the metal all the way, especially these last couple days. Hey, I'm re ready to have some fun tomorrow. Make sure to let loose. You've earned it. Hang out in the dorm. Uh, in a separate slot, then. Whoa, whoa, don't tell me you, si you six-time field state champs got your butt kicked by a little practice. Come on, where's all that youthful energy? You've got another year before you're an old man like me. This is mostly your fault, you know. Hey now, I just don't want you guys to come crying to me later because I didn't push you to go all out. But to be fair, I was just going to leave things as they were if I didn't think you'd be all be able to keep up. But hey, you did, just like I knew you would. Crow. Thanks. And it's a little early to be thanking me just yet. We've actually got to, we've got to actually pull it off on the big day. All that's left is for you guys to pull it off when the chips are down. Make it a performance you'll never forget, okay? Listen up, Eusis. The success or failure of this guy's part depends entirely on us. So don't even think about screwing this up. If you're the last person who should be reminding me of that. While we're exchanging advice, try not to get too <coughs> overzealous on stage. I don't want you to squander all our hard work. I know perfectly well what I should and shouldn't be doing on stage. These two never change, do they? But at least they're arguing in sync. The concert should be a breeze if they can keep this up. Whew, pretty rough day today, huh? Hard to believe our concert's only two days away now. We've been rehearsing like crazy right up to the start of the festival, so I'm not surprised. But next to that, I'm pretty sure our performance will measure up to a certain someone's sky-high expectations. <laughs> I have no idea who you might be referring to. Honestly, I've been putting in crazy amounts of practice myself. For our hard work, there's no way our performance could be subpar. Those rehearsals were kind of grueling, but yeah, you pull... We all pulled through like champs in spite of that. With all your, our work, there's no way our performance gets so far. All right. Ugh. Any more of you? <laughs> I'm amazed you'd even waste your breath on such a statement. I'll do my part to lead us to success. All you need to do is follow the trail I blaze. Good grief, he has a comeback for everything. I guess I'll have to cover for him while we're on stage. <coughs> My throat. <coughs> Gaius, what do you have to say? Yeah. Toma's planning on coming for a visit the day of our concert. Your sister's coming too, isn't she? Yeah, she got in touch a while back to tell me she'd be there, rain or shine. With family in the audience, we have that much extra pressure to impress. Uh, ain't that the truth. We've got to step it up and be the cool big brothers this time. You said it. He must have been coming with his friend Charles on the second day. We both got younger siblings visiting. Alright, I think it was not the girl who I had to uh, t uh, uh, find out the, that uh, 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 Thomas' favorite color for. Yeah, I think that was it. I'm actually kind of tired. Partnering up with Milliam's hard work. She has a habit of just doing things. I don't like it. Uh, you do make a good match for her, though. Either way, good job today. Make sure you sleep in your room, alright? Uh, Roger. Z. <laughs> what did I just say? Room. Just carry her back. Teacher's not in, so I might as well steal her booze again. Don't tell anyone I've been doing that, okay? Don't snitch on me. I was pooped after practice. Then I saw all the decorations and got all excited again. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. Uh, same here. Make sure you have a ton, a, a ton of fun tomorrow. That'll be the best way to get ready for a concert. You've got a pretty important part too, so we need you at full power. 
No problem. Finding fun is what I do. Now I'm gonna sleep early tomorrow so I can go wild tomorrow. Can't wait to see what kind of stuff everyone's doing. Now try not to get too excited or you won't be able to sleep at all. Uh, whenever I think about how how I might be able to improve my GPU someday in the future, I just it keeps me from sleeping. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be uh, I'm going to the gardening club tomorrow, so I need to rest up. See, try to make it back to your room. Wonder if I can really pull off a successful AIO mod on it. I'll pro I'll probably save that for sometime after I beat the Cold Steel 2. I want to at least complete the, uh, these two games before uh, 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 before dissecting the GPU. Ah, uh, ah, uh, cough. Ah, uh, Elisa. I guess she's singing. Trying to practice <coughs> all her notes. Reen, how long have you been there? Not long, maybe a minute or two. Uh, you seem really focused on your vocal exercises there. Yeah, I was. I know I'm only doing backup vocals, but the others are working so hard for this that I want to support them as best as I can. I don't blame you, especially now that we've decided to go through with that surprise too. But we've already done everything we can to prepare. It all comes down to how we perform when we're in front of the crowd. Right now, all we can do is rest up and hope our hard work pays off tomorrow. I know it will. Might only be a backup singer, but the others are working so hard for this that I want to do all I can to support them. Let's make this concert spectacular. <coughs> and still practicing with her sword. Festival is finally here. My club doesn't need me to assist with our preparation, so I'm free to focus on the concert instead. My plan for tomorrow is to visit everyone while patrolling the academy. Huh? Well, we've got nothing to fear if you're on patrol duty. Instructor Sarah's supposed to take care of that, though. You should just take it easy and have a good time. Huh, I will if you will. Since the room has really improved because of that practice I've gotten with the drums, you might end up having a surprise. Surprisingly positive effect on my swordsmanship, too. <laughs> Sorry, I still can't believe they picked me to sing one of the songs. Why me, of all people? Surely there must have been a better choice, right? <coughs> I don't know about that. Honestly, I think Crow's decision <coughs> was spot on. You do? So I guess it's too late to be complaining. It's time to resign myself to the inevitable and sing my heart out. Guys, really think I'm the best choice. I want to live to the faith you all have in me. No sweat. It. I know you'll do great. <sighs> okay, Sharon should be downstairs. Oh, Celine's here too. Oh, Celine, you came too, huh? Hope you'll cheer us on during our performance, as much as a cat can, anyway. Meow. <laughs> so, how's it feel having all your festival preparations finally finished? I bet you're looking forward to tomorrow. I really am. I'm really curious to see what all the other classes have put together, too. Well, having fun is what school festivals are all about, so I hope you'll you have a great time. You've earned it. Really looking forward to seeing your concert too. We'll do our best to make it one for the school history books. Don't think spry, Reed. Care for an ice cold beer? The pre festival's party's just about to begin, and I can't show up totally sober. Uh, maybe some other time. Try not to get too drunk, okay? It's very apparent that all of you have poured everything you have into this festival. So much so even that it took you all a while to even notice I had brought you dinner. Uh, we really were practicing like our lives depended on it. It was still delicious though. I think it was the reason we were able to keep practicing for so long. <laughs> and I'm pleased to see have been able to be even slightly of assistance. I have every intention of being there for the concert, so I wish you all luck. Uh, thank you. So be present at the festival to assist with operations. Do feel free to call out if you see me around.
Here we're an ice cold beer. Free festival, sorry. Oh. Hey, that's everyone. Okay, off to bed. Should I call a day? Yes. Same day. Oh, I'm beat. My brain's awake, but my body is exhausted. I guess at least a good night's rest will take care of the fatigue. At this point, all I can do is just pour everything I've got into the concert. Hmm. Wasn't there a music program that runs around this time? I could use something to wind down. I don't feel like reading, and there's not much else going on this late on a Friday night. Guess I'll just relax till bedtime. I know I'll be showing Elise around on the second day of the festival, so the only day I'll be roaming around on my own is tomorrow. If I get the chance, maybe I should meet up with some of the others to see what all of the other classes are doing. Huh? Huh? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Wait, we're already live? Oh, that's Misty? Hey, isn't that Misty? <coughs> Oh, it'd be really helpful if they just uh, uh, translate <laughs> zero no kiseki already. I think someone's working on a fan translation, but they haven't even finished the first one yet. They're still uh, they got most of it translated, but they're still editing it so that I guess the dialogue flows better. One city really stand up to two countries? Whoa. Final chapter put to the test. I'm sure Ouroboros might have something to do with that as well. Students and visitors, thank you very much for your patience. It's a big Without gate there further too. Ado, I hereby declare the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival open. I don't think I've ever seen that gate closed before. Enjoy yourselves today and have <clears> a <throat> wonderful time. Anyway, our big moment isn't until tomorrow afternoon. So the best thing we can do today is simply enjoy the festivities and try not to think about the concert. I've been trying not to. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sure some of us have club obligations to attend to today, so perhaps we should just each do our own thing. It would be a great idea to meet in the auditorium at the end of the day to check all our equipment for tomorrow. Yeah, I need to find out when our horrible instruments are going to be taken in. I need to do a little bit of tuning at the very least. That sounds fine. The musician has to keep her instrument in top condition, just like a warrior does her weapon. Huh, I'm surprised everyone's so calm. Especially considering the big news from Crossbell yesterday. Their declaration of independence? It's, certain, it's certainly grounds for concern. But at this point, it, I don't think the reality of it has sunk in for me yet. Honestly, I can't see the new Crosswell Defense Force as much of a force to be reckoned with either. I say let them talk. Talk is cheap after all. Pride and independence are w things one acquires through hard work. A verbal declaration holds a little weight on its own, especially if they end up reneging it on it soon after. And that's certainly true. 
Crossbow will still be there in two days, but right now we've got a festival to focus on. We've got people here from all over the country, and we owe it to them to show them a good time. With all the uncertainty in the world lately, that's all the more reason to try and help people forget their troubles. Especially since our families will be coming to visit tomorrow. You just had to remind me of that. I don't think we're any exception. We should have. A, a, we should all take this chance to kick back and have a good time. We've earned it. We spent, went our separate ways for the first day. Some of the help of club events. Others just enjoy, enjoy the festival. For my part, I decided to do my duty as a reserve member of the student council and patrol the academy grounds. You really don't have to help us out today, you know. This is your first academy festival. You should be out there having fun with your friends. Oh, don't worry. I fully intend on enjoying myself. Doesn't mean I can't help out in my free time, though. You're not exactly convincing me. I know. Here, take these. Some kind of special tickets? These are tickets the student council is issuing to our visitors. Use them to visit the <laughs> festival attractions. Some places may even give special perks to ticket holders. You're going to use all them all by the end of the day. That's a mandate from the president. <laughs> what? Well, it sounds like if I don't worry to have fun, you'll just work yourself through the entire festival. Well, of course I have to. I got worried about getting max AP if I want to start strong on the second game. Besides, it's our first time trying the whole admission ticket system, so I'd like to know how well it's working. <laughs> One ticket is good enough for two people, so try a bunch of different activities and see what they'll get you, okay? Uh, sure thing. There's no debating with her once her mind's made up, is there? Thanks, Toa. You're welcome, and remember, have fun out there! Quest Academy Festival Patrol started. Student Council banned. Festival ticket type 6. About the Academy Festival. You can invite your classmates and some other friendly faces from school to enjoy the festival's many attractions with you. Visiting an attraction will use up one festival ticket. After you use up all six, the main story will advance. <clears throat> so he seriously gets a student council banned. Oh wow, it really is there. I guess I'm so- I've been helping them so much, I'm practically one of them now. Yeah, Toa has it too, and so does her friend. And so does that guy there. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.